Hey everyone, welcome to CPA Reviewed. My name is Jeff Elliott from another71.com. I am a licensed CPA, and today's topic is a little bit controversial, and it involves the AICPA's decision to propose an amendment to allow people who are not licensed CPAs to vote on the future of the accounting profession, just like regular AICPA members. Now, basically, basically, there's two main types of membership with the AICPA. There's the regular membership, which I am a part of, where you have to be a licensed CPA in your state, and you have to get 120 hours of CPE continuing education over three years in order to be able to have the perks of being a regular member, which include uh, being able to vote on certain things, um, being able to steer which which direction the advocacy group for the AICPA, like which way you want them to go on topics, things like that. And you also get um, certain things like um, CPE discounts and various types of insurance and all of that. Now, the other type of membership, the other main type of membership is what's called an associate member. And basically, they get the same thing that the regular members do, except... They don't get to vote. Now, associate members are people who have passed the CPA exam and have met all the education requirements to become licensed and all that. They just, for some reason, chose not to uh, go on and, and get their license or keep their, keep their CPE current. They chose to not, to not um, you know, get the... 80 hours of continuing ed that's required in most states over two years or, or, or whatever it is. There's a lot of hoops that you have to go through to keep your license current. And I know all about that. And these people just chose not to do that. And that's great. I totally understand where people are coming from. If they if they don't work in public accounting and anymore, or maybe they, they never did, they work in industry and they just want to be an accountant, have the CPA credential on their resume, and not hold themselves out as a CPA. CPA, not do the boring CPE, boring and expensive CPE, and they just want to serve the profession in their own little way and not make any waves and just just go about their day. And that's great. I totally understand that. And but however, they should not have the same voting rights on in the profession as those of us who do jump through all those hoops and keep our license current and whose livelihoods depend on our CPA license, you know, they shouldn't be able to vote. And what the AICPA proposed is that they should be able to vote and they laid out the reasons why. Now, let me say, I certainly don't want to tick off the AICPA. I'm an AICPA member, like I said, a regular member, licensed CPA, and I'm just, I'm just um, airing my opinion about the topic, and it's an opinion that's shared by a lot of licensed CPAs, and we'll see how this shakes out because this video is coming a little bit late because the uh, ballots have been cast, they're being tallied right now, and uh, we'll see in the next couple days or weeks how it, how it turned out. My prediction, <laughs> predictions, is that it, it fails overwhelmingly that the regular AICPA membership said no. So let's look at a few things. Now the AICPA is saying that they have three, three reasons to, for uh, recommending this change. Let's look at the first one and I'm gonna read it here. The first one is parity. The change would reconcile requirements for voting membership with the profession's current diversity and membership composition, addressing market expectations and recognizing the various ways that individuals enter or participate in the accounting profession. Basically that same, um, some people work in public accounting, some people work in industry, some people work in non-traditional roles. So we wanna create a level playing field. Now, my answer to that is it's already, it's already um, even. People, people who work in, in um, governmental accounting can certainly keep their license current and keep the CPE up. There's um, the only thing that's keeping the playing field from being level 
and from maintaining parity is just the people themselves. They just need to go do it, and they'll be on par with everyone else who are regular AICPA members. The second reason for the AICPA's recommendation is uniformity. uniformity. I'm, again, I'm going to read it. The change would, would create consistency in admission requirements for accounting professionals from any state by aligning AICPA membership with the criteria set out in the UAA, which is the Uniform Accountancy Act for CPA certification. And they hold that professionals who fulfill the UAA standards for certification are recognized as committed to the foundation of the CPA profession and its hallmark of values, values of integrity, competence, and objectivity. Now, most of that I, I agree with. Um, however, there's a key ingredient there, which is competence. Now, I certainly wouldn't question anyone's competence, but isn't the whole point of CPE competence? And uh, if you're going to hold yourself out as a CPA, you, you need the CPE, in theory, to, to be competent in order to defend, defend the public interest. So what we're talking about is CPE here, and how can, how can people vote on the future of, of accounting when they're not actively forced to maintain competence? I mean, in theory, you could pass the exam and never, never read another accounting article in your life and be able to vote. So... Finally, the third reason that the, AI, the AICPA re recommended this, they're calling it pathway. Basically, they want to keep um, new professionals who don't fit the mold of the, of the uh, classic public accountant to keep them close to the profession. And I completely agree. That's why, that's why they created an associate membership. They get the same access to the library, the AICPA library, the um, ethics training. They get all of that. They get the insurance and everything. They just don't have to do the CPE, and therefore they should not vote. Now, again, I don't. <laughs> I certainly don't want to tick off anyone at the at the AICPA. I'm a proud AICPA member. I let's see, you know, I spent like 120 bucks getting this thing framed. I mean, that's a huge. That's a that's a big boy. <laughs> so I love the AICPA. And um, I hope this thing fails and fails miserably. And um, I hope that the regular members and the associate members can all get along. But anyway, there's a reason why there's a regular membership. There's a reason why you get licensed. There's a reason why you are able to hold yourself out as a CPA. There's a reason why you take the CPE. And um, that's it. So I wish everyone a good day. Hope this has been educational. Um, sorry to... Kind of go up on a tangent here, but uh, it's something that I'm passionate about, and so are a lot of people. So take care. <laughs>